modes of e payment hello friends today we shall talk about banking cards as a mode of payment in this e payment awareness series a mother and her daughter go to a shopping mall to buy led tv finding that the led tv price is slightly higher than the cash mother had brought with her she tells her daughter to defer the purchase to another week in the meantime another person came produced the card and purchased a similar tv and coolly walked off now let's listen to the conversation between the mother and her daughter mama just please wait i will get some cash from a nearby atm okay beta within 5 minutes the daughter withdraws necessary cash from the atm and they proceed to buy the led tv how could you withdraw money from your account in the evening when the bank is also closed <laughs> mama you might have heard of atm cards debit cards credit cards prepaid cards etc mm -hmm. these are all called bank cards these cards may be used to make purchases and also to withdraw money from a bank account anywhere anytime from the atm and what are these bank cards what do they look like beta <laughs> mama a bank card is a thin rectangular piece of plastic and its dimensions are 85.60 mm by 53.98 mm that is issued by a bank to its customer so as to enable them to transact with the banking system remotely for withdrawal of money use of funds for spending and also to get credit facility okay what is this brown color strip on one card and golden design on another mama such cards have either a magnetic strip or embedded chip to store all the personal details of mine as a card holder ah can i see how the money is withdrawn from atm sure let me show you how money is withdrawn from a savings account through atm wonderful how else can we use a bank card to make purchases at the pos counter of a shopkeeper uh, as was done by another person at led tv shop Sure. Let me explain to you the various bank cards and their functionality. Okay, beta. Sure. Uh, so, mama, there are various types of banking cards. Originally, there used to be two bank cards: hmm. ATM card and credit cards. Later on, the debit card was introduced to expand the functionality of ATM cards. An ATM card is a pin-based card that is used to transact in ATMs only. for withdrawing cash in physical form okay this card may be issued by your bank against your depository or savings account so that you may withdraw money from your account with the issuing bank at any time that is 24/7 and from anywhere through an atm that is automated teller machine fine second comes a debit card now ma a debit card is a bank card that is issued against a depository or savings account to facilitate the withdrawal of money through atm and use the funds in a depository account at point of sale transactions to pay for goods and services provided by merchants who accept cards for payment okay now with the emergence of debit card the atm card is fast becoming obsolete because debit cards besides offering the functionality of atm cards also allows you as a user to perform pos transaction which is a purchase made with your visa debit card by requiring you to enter your pin on a keypad of card reader equipment that's good and then comes a credit card a credit card yeah so mama a credit card in a plastic form is issued by a bank or financial services company with a preset credit limit that helps the card holder to make cashless transactions with a limited period borrowing oh wonderful yes In other words, the credit card allows the card holder to borrow funds with which to pay for goods and services to merchants who agree to accept cards for payment. <laughs> the credit card issuing company raises the credit transactions bill every month on a particular date and require the card holder to pay back the borrowed money within a stipulated number of days, say 20 days from the billing date. failing which the card holder is required to pay late payment charges plus any other applicable interest in full 
by the billing date. Oh, now mama, as a credit card holder, your credit limit is detained by the card issuing bank or financial services company based on your credit score, credit history and your income. Oh, and it is subject to revision from time to time. I got it. Then comes mama, a prepaid card. A prepaid card. Yeah. So, a prepaid card is issued by a bank as an independent card that is not linked to a bank account. Oh, you know, after getting this card issued, you as a card holder have to load this card with the required amount of funds. Okay. And this may be achieved in any of these ways. Say like transfer the money from an existing account to the prepaid card, right? Or add funds from specified retail locations or through the card issuing financial institution. Okay. Or issue a check to deposit the money into the card by its ID. ID? Mama, ID is the card number. The card number itself? Yes. Also, you may buy a specific reload pack of certain denomination to your card. Good, good. That's good. Functionally, a prepaid card may be used to pay for purchases, pay for utility bills, hmm. or withdraw cash from ATMs. Wonderful. Yeah. In the same way, a debit card is used with the difference that the upper limit of spending is limited to the amount of money loaded mm -hmm. and not the amount in your bank account as in the case of credit cards. Yeah, I understand this point. Mama? Yes? Do you know we also have virtual debit cards? Virtual debit cards? Yeah. So you know, a virtual debit card is a digital version of a plastic card that is loaded with the required personal information of the card holder that is alternatively stored in the magnetic strip or chip of the physical or plastic card. Oh, I get it now. You know, the virtual card may be generated through the mobile banking application that is linked to your bank account. Oh. Now, Ma, since ATM as well as POS card readers interact only with physical cards, Yes. The virtual cards can, at best, be used for making online payments to support an online transaction only. Oh. And cannot be used for withdrawing money from an ATM. And also for making payments at in-person stores having POS card reader because a virtual card does not have their physical existence. Oh, now I get it clearly. <laughs> but what are the benefits of using banks instead of cash? Mama, generally, there are four benefits of using bank cards. Let me explain each of these one by one. Oh, do it now, beta. Sure, ma. So, they are easy to procure and simple to use. Once you open an account, most banks issue you a debit card on a request along with your passbook. Fine. However, you have to apply for a credit card separately by giving some more details to prove your credit worthiness. Oh, at the in-person point of sale, that is POS, mm -hmm. the card swipe or touch machine is used to enable payment transactions. And as a card holder, you are just required to enter your personal identification number, that is PIN, which is a four-digit confidential number. Never to share this number with anyone. Never, Baba. I will never share it with anyone. And the second benefit is, Ma, the safety. Safety? Yeah. You need not carry cash or a checkbook to pay for your purchase transactions. Then, beta? <laughs> you know, your physical wallet may be stolen, but it's much more difficult to steal money from your debit card because of identity theft protection. Oh! You know what that is? What that is? See, the thief needs to know your PIN to use your card. Okay. If you report your stolen or missing card quickly and promptly, the card issuing bank will block your card so that it is not misused. Oh, that's a good feature. And that's a great benefit, Ma. Of course. Another benefit is convenience. Convenience. Ma, as purchases are made using a card, no check needs to be issued, which at times is inconvenient for both buyer and seller in a transaction. True, beta. You see, swiping the card instead of filling out a paper check is considered to be a much more convenient method of making payment. Of course. You see, cards eliminate the need to carry cash. Mm. You don't have to carry cash and remain alert all the time. If you do need cash, you can simply get it out of any of the nearby ATMs as per your requirement. True. And get back to the store to make purchases through cash. How easy it is. <laughs> it indeed is, ma. And the next benefit is easily and readily acceptable payment option. That of course it is it. 
you know the transaction through card may be performed any time and from anywhere hmm the merchant accepting the payment through card has the assurance by merchant acquirer bank to credit the merchant's account for a successful transaction hmm and as a result the cards are easily readily and widely accepted modes of making payments wonderful ma Would you also like to know about specific benefits of a credit card? Of course, beta. I can list them down in details for you. Do it fast. Ma, in addition to the benefits of bank cards as discussed previously, the benefits which I'm going to talk about now will specifically accrue to users of credit card. Specifically to users of credit card. Yeah. So first comes the easy availability of credit while transacting. Hmm. easy availability of credit while transacting yes as a credit card holder you are allowed to defer payment of your present day purchases to some future date oh this is because the credit card issuer grants an instant credit to you by paying your merchant on your behalf as a result you are able to keep your money intact in the bank account to meet your security needs amazing isn't that great great second comes the chance to build a line of credit chance to build a line of credit yes your active use of credit card builds up your credit history along with your timely repayments oh when subsequently you approach a lending institution for a loan yes your credit worthiness is assessed on the basis of your past borrowing and repayment behavior on the basis of your credit card transactions credit card is so important that means it surely is ma the next benefit is interest free credit with the flexibility to repay interest free credit with flexibility to repay yes ma the payments through cards are interest free for a period ranging from 45 to 60 days during which you may make repayment of the balance due with multiple times by several small amounts this is easy yeah no charges are levied in respect of outstanding dues if the dues are cleared within the credit period great then comes purchase protection by insurance purchase protection by insurance ma the purchases through credit cards are protected by insurance in case of items that may be lost stolen or damaged oh you as a credit card holder may file a claim with the credit card issuer to receive a replacement repair or reimbursement for any eligible stolen or damaged items and you know the veracity of a claim is verified by a credit card statement that's a good replacement i must say ma next comes cashback offers and incentives that we all talk about almost all the time and we like that almost all the time <laughs> that's an added perk <laughs> so most cards tie up with the merchants to offer cashbacks instant discounts and incentive points to promote the use of credit cards yes the incentive points may later on be redeemed for repaying your outstanding dues or making further purchases oh great The sixth benefit my is the EMI facility. EMI, uh, you mean the installments? Yeah, that's what. In case you make purchases in large amounts without denting your savings immediately, <laughs> the credit cards besides giving you instant credit for 45 to 60 days on all purchases, <laughs> further allows you to repay your credit card dues in equated monthly installments. Equated monthly installments. Yeah. The repayment through EMI is a much cheaper option than taking a personal loan for making heavy purchases in a large amount. That makes sense. And then comes the automatic transaction record. Automatic transaction record. Yeah. You know, the purchases through card are recorded and you as a card holder are informed of your monthly transaction through a card statement. A card statement. Yeah, ma. As a card user, You need not maintain a separate record of your purchases. Why, beta? That's because you can track the present and past history of your purchases in case of any need as a part of planning your expenditure. Mm. The card issuing bank or company also provide you with the details of each transaction by SMS besides giving the details of the amount of credit still available and that availed of. That means all the information is right there with you. Readily available all the time. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Now beta do we have to incur any additional cost in using these cards 
Yes, ma. Uh, besides the benefits, you do have some disadvantages of using bank cards. Oh, you know, ma, potential fraud is one of the reasons. Although bank and credit issuing companies try their best to protect you from any potential fraud, mm-hmm. yet you may become a victim of debit card and credit card fraud. True, beta. However, you may avoid such situations to occur by meticulously following the guidelines issued by your bank and credit card issuer in this regard. Yes. And what is the second disadvantage, beta? The second disadvantage is ma the annual fee. Annual fees. Both debit and credit cards entail an annual fee. You know, the use of your debit card for ATM transactions may turn out to be a costly affair if you use an ATM of a different bank for more than the specified number of times in a month. Oh, that means separate transaction charges may be levied if you exceed the number of transactions through ATMs. Hmm. An annual charge for your credit card may also be levied if you do not make purchases for a certain uh, pre-specified amount during a year. Oh, that's difficult. I've understood everything you told me, beta. <laughs> Great. <laughs> But tell me, what do banks gain by promoting these cards? Ma, let me explain to you the win-win situation among various participants in the use of bank cards. Sure, beta, do that. So, in conclusion, The use of a debit card presents a win-win situation for you as well as the bank because the bank can reduce the customer rush in the branches by offering a less expensive banking channel. Mm. For you it offers the convenience of transacting in variety of ways from anywhere and at any time without the trouble of waiting in long queues. That's definitely true beta. You know ma credit card issuing companies or banks charge annual fee from credit card holders besides charging interest for belated payments on borrowed amounts hmm and what can a merchant do ma a merchant can sell more because of credit availability to credit card holders who in turn can buy through deferred payment deferred payment yeah that is non availability of funds is not a barrier to buying by credit card holders if an assured income shall accrue in the near future good so in this way it is a win win situation for all three participants yes the debit cards and credit cards have accordingly revolutionized both our shopping experience and also the banking world by allowing and promoting the use of debit cards safely and effectively that's great wasn't that a wonderful discussion over cards amazing beta <laughs> i will definitely remember it for the rest of my life <laughs> <laughs>